I didn't want to do this video, but I didn't want to do depression videos on my channel because I go on and on about it. Just my energy just goes really down, and I feel like my whole videos are getting affected because I'm not really talking what I should be talking, like video games, which I usually do. But this is always. Almost always on my mind every single day um, Battling with depression um, Being battling this disorder um, Since ever since I've gained a lot of weight so This will go back childhood all that sort of thing <laughs> way way back um but for now, I'm not going to go there. Um, right now, I'm just... It's... It's about... It's about a lot of things that you go through in life. Relationships, family, um, career-wise, um, happiness as well, and... Um, you just don't get it at the end of the day. And when you are at the peak, when you are at the peak of your happiness, the peak of your best, um, the peak of everything that you want to be, and you were in that position, when you come off from that number one position at the top of the ladder, you feel like a complete garbage. You can, You feel like garbage. You feel like a piece of shit because you can't be the person that you're supposed to be because you've been there before and you can't do it again. And um, I think it's the worst. It's the worst I've been dealing with. I don't know how to get past it. I don't know how to get past consistency. I don't know how to get past um, a plan. A consistent plan that works every single day. Um, it may work for one week, but after that, it just changes because things just come come by, like friends' birthday or an event that you need really, really, really need to go, and you can't exercise on that day, so it really jumbles, and that happens um, <laughs> regularly, regularly in my life, I would say, and. Um, I'm in a really uncomfortable position right now. My goal is that I want to get past it. I want to get past these hurdles and be the person that I used to be. And every time I don't follow my plan or don't follow the schedule, I drift away in an instant. And I have this insane cycle I think a cycle that you do um, always like for example you work not work out work out actually when you work out one day and then the next day you work out again but then the next day you don't you feels like you, something needs to happen and that happens to me all the time at work especially when there's a surge inside my brain, like an electrical surge that shoots through and it says to me that you need to do something and something needs to happen. You're losing time. Um, you got to do something quickly. Something needs to happen for you. And I keep making decisions that breaks me mentally. And that happens way too frequent. So, I don't know what it is, but I don't like this boring schedule. I don't like to be in a boring life. Like, I know it sounds insane, and I think it should, I shouldn't be doing what, I be, what I'm doing. Um, because it's not working at all. And...
when you do this cycle, you can, it becomes normal after a while. And you keep doing, you keep doing it, and you become basically insane. And you don't live, you don't get out of that circle that you created yourself. And I've created that circle for myself too many times, and I keep doing it and doing it. I feel like I should be with someone, and someone should be beside me. And I don't know why a lot of people keep saying it, saying they sh shouldn't care about relationships. It's you gotta work on yourself first. There's no point in getting a girl when you when you haven't really sorted yourself out. And um, I feel like if I if I had a girlfriend, then it feels like everything would just join together, as in like a puzzle. We'll we'll will make itself out to be right or I will find myself in the right path again things like that it sounds pretty it sounds naive it sounds childish um, and when you think about it I don't know I really don't know what to say about it because I feel like they need someone for me and I feel like I'm losing time because I'm not with that person and that's been happening for so long for so long I don't know how to tell you this since I was born I know it feels weird it feels really really weird because I've been having those dreams about this special someone that's supposed to be in my life and every time I have those dreams, it feels completely real. And um, it's like she's not here or she is here. I don't know where to find that person. And um, to really, someone to really get to know me, you have to know me entirely. The flaws, the pros, the cons, the bad and the good. Whatever, whatever bad is about me, you have to live with it because that's the way it is. And that goes vice versa with that person too, when I'm with. I'm sure she's not going to be the perfect person, but it feels like I would accept the flaws that she has and so on and so forth. It goes both ways, basically. That's my view. And that's why I've been having, it sounds really stupid. I'm sure a lot of people, you guys, will just be saying, this is really stupid, why are you doing this? Um, it doesn't make any sense, it's not logical, and you're putting yourself in a really bad position. And I have been. And um, these thoughts take over m myself. It takes control over me. <sighs> and um, depression is a thing that it's not easy it's not easy to solve because you're not in that person's mind and there isn't a simple solution because everybody has a different mind and you cannot say that there is a simple solution a simple fix for that disorder because when you when he in a person's mind who is depressed, there's a million thoughts, a million. I cannot even tell you in words there are feelings and experiences that you even if I say a little thing about it, it won't make sense. Because it cannot be described in words. It's something that's felt and experienced by your mind. And it's some it's really hard to get out of it. It really is. Um, and especially when I'm really empathetic and emotional and I connect with certain emotions and feel certain emotions, <laughs> I really keep a lot of thought into these kind of things. 
um, just because I've always have and um, it's a pro and a con itself really it really is um, and I don't know I don't know where it's gonna go this is just me making video of what I'm experiencing right now and it's not great it really isn't <laughs> Even though I may smile or may laugh in a video or something, it's me trying to get over it. It's me trying to get push myself forward. I'm trying to move forward. And it's not that simple. Depression can destroy someone entirely. And it has to me in a way. My mind is not the same as it used to be. It's really more lazy or don't really care. That energy that was in me when I was starting to lose weight um, has gone away. I don't know if I can or if I even push myself again, it won't be the same as it was last time. Because I've gained and lost weight like three, four times already. And I think vlogging out my emotions and my experiences out in this video helps me a lot. Because I keep a lot of these opinions to myself and I never really record it. I never really talk about it to anyone. So when you keep these thoughts to yourself, most of the time, you don't know, you don't know that these thoughts are real or they're just basically nothing. So it's sort of, you don't feel, you don't feel that you're authentic very much when you don't speak out these views or these emotions. Um, you really feel like you're hiding something and you're not really being yourself. And that's why I, that's why I keep doing these videos, really. Even though I have to go for so long. Um, I'm going to create a video. Um, not this one, but the next one that's going to be about my transformation of my body. And I'm going to start from day one. My whole, I'm going to show my whole body as it is. And then, basically, and before after pick of what I have achieved in the video or in the workout that I'm going to do. I don't know how, don't know how ambitious I am, because so I'm going to say something right here, and I'm not. Go I'm going to do something different the next day. And I don't want that to happen. Guys, alright. See you guys.